Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is looking at the suspend side of strand abilities and combining it with poison to create an endless spider web of death. This has been making the rounds lately on YouTube and social media because of how well the combo goes with strand. Osho Striga and Narcotic Grip are a pairing that many of us are already familiar with and their strength alone rivals some subclass abilities used. However, when combined with the current subclass in game, we can get some interesting interactions. For example, when combined with Strand and Suspend ability, we can not only cause targets to chain react their Suspend animation with others to create an infinite loop, but also poison effects from Osteo and Narcotic will also trigger their effect far and wide. Basically, once they are caught in your web, your effects will spread far and wide with ridiculous speed and it's hard for them to get back out. This is why I want to show this build off to you guys, as this and end game could easily compete with Stasis Warlocks. So, let's dive in. To start, you're going to want to have Weaver's Call, where casting a Rift will produce free Threadlings and deploy any Threadlings on you. You'll then want Mind Spun Invocation to enhance your grenade, which will be Shackle Grenades. Consuming your grenades will activate Weaver Trace, where Final Blows will activate a suspended detonation near targets. Compared to our last build that focused on using Threadlings to the max, we're going to be using the Shackle Grenade, which will allow our grenade to suspend targets. This one ability is great when used against a group, as it can suspend quite a lot of them all at once, but this isn't the part that's interesting. The enhanced version is what the build will lean into heavily, as this will allow any final weapon blows to suspend targets. So combine that with a high discipline stat and mods, and you're going to get some crazy synergy going on with an effective AoE weapon. So Fragments now should lean into the suspend ability as much as possible. For example, Thread of Fury, damaging a target with Tangle will grant melee energy. Thread of Wisdom, defeating a suspended target with precision final blows generate orbs of power. Thread of Generation, where dealing damage generate grenade energy. And Thread of Continuity, which increases the effect of suspend, unravel, and sever effects. Two main ones to have will be the Thread of Continuity for its increased duration, and Federal Generation for creating grenade energy as much as possible. This is really it, as these two, along with the grenade mods, will be enough to make the build work. You may think the other two fragments left over are meaningless in the long run, but that isn't quite the case. Getting a full melee charge back via Tangle is going to help the build with creating suspension effects easily on the weaker enemies. While Federal Wisdom can be swapped out, but the free orb of power will go a long way with sustaining armor charges. From testing, everything played out did really well, which I must admit was also quite enjoyable. For the mods and stats section, we will invest heavily into our discipline and recovery stat, as both of these will be playing a major role. A discipline at tier 8 to 10 is recommended, as we need to make sure we can get our shackle grenades passively back, even when threat of generation is on. The reason why this needs to be the case is for a failsafe reason, such as using all your abilities up and then getting killed straight after. I have experienced so many events where I'm on a roll with kills, only for me to get killed by the enemy who is over leveled than me, or just outright one shots me, and then puts me into a rough position of recovery. Until we start getting kills again, having a high passive stat will allow us to at least recover our grenades before we get back into action again and get the emotion of it going. From there, you then want to add on the armor charge mods so you can keep on top of your said grenades. Two grenade kickstart mods, although one is fine as well. One Absolution mod and three Bomber mods are all that you need. This will, at large, grant us around half our grenade energy back on top of the passive discipline stat, so that even after death, once we get everything going, we can quickly get our grenades again and push forward. Once grenades are sorted, you then want to charge up and stacks on stacks, so you can have four charges of armor active, and a Kinetic Cyber mod for producing orbs of power via Osteo Striga. Only one is needed, as remember, we do have the Thread of Wisdom Fragment, which can allow you to create orbs of power as long as you net a precision kill while they are suspended, and this can work out with the build even with the Poison Effect active. Recovery can stay at tier 7 to 10, as this will work along with the aspect that allows us to create Threadlings on Rift, and either way you look at it, your Threadlings combined with Suspend will help you out in a situation where you don't have no ammo. We do also have strength at tier 4, which most of you may find confusing since we are using Necrotic Grip with the build, but there's a reason for that. A lot of the build is focused around the grenade, mainly for suspending, but our melee will also be helping out as well for damage and suspending targets as well. 
Because of the threat of Fury Fragment, we can get back a full charge as long as we net a Tangle Kill, which is pretty easy to achieve and create. So in our case, all we need to do is pretty much back this stat up further with additional mods, such as Midi Kickstart and Invigoration. How you go about this is down to you, as you can add on more or balance out the stat with Discipline by applying more Invigoration or Outreach mods. What I have was sustainable, but you may want to add on more just so you have a good backup available. If you do go down this path, make sure you add on the hands-on mod as well for that free super energy regen. Now lastly, the weapons being used will need to be Osteo Striga, although Fawn can also work. Osteo Striga has got to be one of the best exotic weapons in game since its release because of how effective it is on a large scale. This weapon alone can clean out a room with its AoE poison effect and from there, it can get stronger by adding on more to the magazine if the poison effect kills others. This is why when you see a Necrotic Grip user with Fawn or Osteo Striga, they are most likely looking for the most efficient and deadliest way to deal with combatants quickly. On top of that, the damage it does is also pretty strong against bosses and can be used against bosses as a DPS weapon, although once it's overflowed of course. You can use Fawn as well as both of the weapons work similarly to each other, although Fawn gets increased damage and return round on kills. From here, your secondary could be anything of your choosing as nothing specific is required and your heavy can be the same as well. Although, you could add on the strand weapon such as the circular logic machine gun to the mix. If you go this route, then the following role shown is pretty good against everything, and if you use the Thread of Rebirth Fragment with it, you can also create Threadings with Suspend built into them. Everything about Strand Suspend that you may have heard about is true, and it really is as good as it's described to be. Being able to lock down combatants with a simple ability or two reminds me of why status is so popular in endgame. You may think this trivialized content to a whole degree, but do remember most combatants caught within it are quite tanky to begin with, and using strand as a whole requires a setup that works well with a 1-2 combo. Suspending targets with the current build allows us to not only spread its effects onto others after death, but we can also add in further damage by applying knockout grip and Austria trigger to the mix for maximum damage and carnage. This here alone makes taking on ultras and majors who tend to group up and try to kill you a lot more easy in the long run. The strand feels more rewarding once you lean into the abilities and define an effective strat for it, which in end games makes controlling champions and most annoying enemies a lot more easier and less panic stricken. As mentioned in my last video, while stasis is good to a freezing area for X amount of time, strand is going to help with slowing and catching targets who have a habit of running or staying behind cover and suspending targets has its merits in both PvE or PvP. Do remember that even while poison effect doing its part, our abilities as a whole can work with any weapon setup that you desire, and this to me shows that down the line, when the new raid comes out, a lot of players are going to be mixing in with Stasis, Void and Solar for the ultimate team combo, and then when it comes down to GMs, who knows? But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link below for the build. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.